the ocean. It's a vastness that exists within our peripheral vision, always lurking out of the corner of our eye, filling it with a deep blue. A blue that holds a similar vastness, not in pure area or size, but depth. A depth that conceals what exists within this blue even more thoroughly, with most areas of the ocean not having its floor viewable with the naked eye from the surface. We can view space because it goes out in all directions. It beckons us to reach out and view the immense splendors it holds, but the ocean beckons us to reach within our own playground, go deeper into it physically, because we can't see it from the comforts of our home. We have explored less than 10% of our oceans, and therefore, us humans have no idea what lurks beneath, and our imaginations may run wild with what may exist below the surface. Today, we will be looking at the story around one of these possible leviathans that could be swimming just below the shoreline, the Julia Beast. The origin of this beast comes from one of the loudest undersea sounds ever recorded, with the same name, Julia. Julia is part of a list of unidentified sounds by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or the NOAA, with others including the bloop, whistle, and upsweep. The Julia noise was detected on March 1st. 1999 using an array of hydrophodes located in the Pacific Ocean, aptly named the Equatorial Pacific Autonomous Hydrophone Ray. It was originally built to track and detect Soviet submarines during the Cold War, but was repurposed in the 1990s for general observation. The entire array was set off multiple times due to the sheer volume of the sound, and the distance the sound traveled. It had a duration of 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Here is the noise at 16 times speed. The sound was never truly identified, but the most probable guess made by researchers in the NOAA was that it could be a large iceberg grounding on the ocean floor. But other theories have come to try to explain the noise most famously the topic of this video, a possible sea beast. This theory comes from an image posted two years ago on the subreddit r slash thalassophobia by the user unathan4, captioned meet Julia. The image describes the aforementioned details, such as the date of the recording and the group who detected it, but it also includes details not officially confirmed by the NOAA, such as the non-existent satellite Apollo 33A5 taking now classified photos of a massive swaying shadow located in the southwest regions of Cape Cadre, which is most likely a misspelling of Cape Adare, which was one of the mentioned places where the Julia sound was theorized to have been generated, due to its history of it generating a lot of noise from icebergs breaking or hitting the ocean floor. It was later calculated that the actual origin was somewhere near 15 degrees south and 98 degrees west, which is around the equator near western South America. The said shadow that was captured by the satellite was, quote, two times larger than the Empire State Building, and by that estimate, this shadow is nearly one kilometer long, or around 800 meters to be exact. The currently largest sea creature, the blue whale, at its largest, is 33 meters long. That means, if this creature were to exist in our world, it would be 24 times larger than the largest sea creature currently alive. Such a creature, if it does indeed exist within the depths, would be equal parts magnificent and terrifying. It would have an immensity that would humble even the strongest of creatures on our planet. Who knows what else the ocean could contain if such a being coexists with us so quietly. Let us take a moment to 
appreciate the vastness.